For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what is up, guys? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, and today I'm going to be trying to do something I've been kind of doing in a lot of my videos, but I want to, like, brand it off more properly. So, you know how Gut Fox is like a market Monday? I've kind of been doing that for you guys, if you haven't realized, in my daily sniping filters. I've been kind of referencing my opinions for the market, but I've been branding it into something that it's really not. So, I, if you guys have a comment down below, is what I'm going to say, is if you have a name for what I should call a series like this, for, oh, I've been saying like insane market crash or call it maybe market flux, like just tell me tell me something, like a cool name that you guys can start branding this so I can do this. Because there's very common like times where like I see something in the market that's changing that you guys need to jump on, but I don't know what to title it or how to like a brand so you guys have a specific idea of when I post that video, it means something like, you know what I'm saying? So you guys know when you see that video or that thumbnail, you know you can go to that video and see what's going on or there's something that needs to be changed today. Anyways, before I get into this video, if you guys could so kindly go down below and drop the sub. I've been I've been giving you guys goals. The goal is to get me by, if you guys can, and you'd be awesome, get me by 400 by tonight. Can you guys handle that? For everyone watching this video new, the subs, you know, I love you guys. You guys are already here. But for anyone new, if you guys can, get, I need 37 more subs. At one point, we were growing at about 20 to 30 subs a day. We slowed down to about two a day. I don't know how that even happens. But I guess just how, you know, the market goes up and it comes down the same way with everything else in life, you know. Things come up and they go down. Things slow down. So maybe tonight you guys can get it back going. You know, bring the pace back up. Everyone new, just drop the sub. It makes a big difference for me. For me, from you guys. Like, your one click of the red sub button makes a big difference for me. It'll keep increasing my content. It'll, keep, it'll, it'll show more user interaction. It'll keep growing the channel. So if you guys could so kindly, please go do that. Now let me get into this video. So the first thing that I've noticed coming on today that I think you guys need to do right now. If you guys have Ultimate Legend players, you need to make you need to make a move on them right now. Now, you might be thinking, does that mean go buy them? No, it does not. So, let me get to what I'm talking about. I always pass it because I forget it's in weekly. Now, if you go to these 98s, no, 96, 97s. I'll go to the 98s after. So, these 96, 97s are at 285k, and they'll probably be around 295, 300 by tonight. So, what, what am I trying to say, right? So, what I'm implying here is that if you have an Ultimate Legend card, go sell them. If they're part of a power-up chain, maybe don't go sell them, only because you'll lose 15k by taking them out of the power-up chain, and you'll mess up your team for a little bit. But if it's just a card that you have in your buying and you've been holding on to, sell right now. They're not getting any higher, I promise. But the way this is going to work, my, my personal advice, and I feel like it's almost 99% accurate, is that they're only high right now because, as you can see, the Ultimate Legends have been slow lately. Once they drop some crazy new Ultimate Legends into the game, these are going to go down to about 200k. Easy. It's below 250 no matter what, but close to 200k. When they drop a Michael Vick into this game, I promise you, the majority of the players still playing will be opening packs for that Vick. In turn, they're opening packs. Up, oh, they pulled Javon Curse on the auction block. Keep pulling. They pulled Kevin Green on the auction block. They pulled the 94s on the auction block. On the auction block. The way it works is that like this. So, right now, supply is like, I want to say decent. Like, there's low demand for these cards, alright? Because if, if you wanted them, you have them already. So there's low demand, so they're not really getting bought right now. So they're kind of just like hovering around 285. They're not getting bought rapidly. So people are whatever, they're holding on to them, they're waiting for now. People are probably thinking, oh, they're going up, I'll wait. And then other people are thinking right now, like, what's it called? Oh, and there's low supplies, I'm trying to say. I mean, there's medium supply. So like, the supply's medium, the demand's kind of low. So at the end of the day, the market just rises and no one touches it, right? Now, when the Michael Vick comes out, there's what people do. They run right to the, they run right to the, um, two things people do. People go into the auction block, they start buying, they start sitting on there, they start sniping cards out, it starts creating up, people start posting things up faster, and then everyone runs to packs. All the big YouTubers popping hundreds of packs, hundreds of packs. All the regular guys open packs, opening packs. So it's just, it, it creates like a supply of hundreds of thousands of new Ultimate Legend cards that are thrown to the market. With everyone thrown to the market, the market dips, dips, dips. It's just, it's like economics, it's simple economics. So, as the demand is going to start, the demand for the, the VIX is going to be up here, which is going to mean a lot of packs are going to be pulled, which is going to equal a lot of supply. So, now there's going to be a ton of supply, and a lot of these cards here are going to be in low demand. So, the VIX will be high priced, let's say, or the Lawrence Taylor, or the Barry Sanders, or the Deion Sanders. But, these cards, everyone pulling those Javon Curse, those Kevin Greens and Reed, do you think they, they wanted that? At this point, if they wanted that, they have it. Or, or if they wanted it, the few that actually keep, that have the money that buy packs and keep it, whatever, but... For the most part, you pull one of these cards, you're selling, and you're going right back into packs for that Vic. So, what you want to do is, people are going to be selling these things like, like, like they're garbage, like they're junk. So it's gonna be like 275, 265, 255, 240, undercut 230, 210, 212, 
205 and then you start buying and then you buy like three of them you wait till later you wait for a week or two it might be a week or two you wait for a week or two it settles back out the market readjusts you sell them off for 270 you make a profit of about 50k a card at times four 200k like that's what you guys got to do these ultimate legends are really high priced right now you got to take advantage of that now i think these are the best ones to take advantage of is to sell them don't buy them sell any card you have if you have a andre reed in your binder or javon curse if they're on your team and you're using them keep them because if you're going to take them off a power chain i think you lose like 15k so if you lose 15k that's already 270k that you, that you would even make back let's say and then plus the reduction that's 250 and if you sell them for only 230 if you sell them for uh i mean if you buy them for 230 like and then you sell for 260 let's say like you're not making coins i know i don't know if that was too hard to follow but if you're gonna take it off a power chain just keep it because you never know but if it's just sitting in your binder, go sell it. Now, these 98s, these haven't really moved too much. Oh, wait, Nitro Lane, 400k. These haven't moved too much. I mean, these are these have kind of been staying around. These are stagnant, actually. They went up a little bit. I don't know how much they'll go down. But when a crazy pack does drop, these will go down. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe like 370, 360, 370. So, in actuality, if you sold them now, if you just had them... Okay, so this is what I'm going to say. If you're going to sell them and then plan on rebuying them when they're cheaper stick to the 96 97 now if you have a night train lane right now selling it for 420k let's say right here and then with the reduction you get 380 and then buying it back in a week for 370 isn't really worth it because you're gonna lose time and money but if you just have them here and you just don't know when to sell them sell them now because every day that passes cards lose value no matter what you want unless it's part of some crazy set but these cards here these ultimate legends every day that passes and new cards come out these cards become less valuable why was calvin johnson 800k when he came out because he was the best card far and away in the game then new cards came out more more john madden collectibles came out things started coming out every day that passed the stat this is calvin the stats like this so every time other stats come closer to the calvin his value was dipping 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 and now they're at an even point right calvin's not 800k anymore neither is sean taylor night train lane and the night train lane now started at like 400k already because like everyone caught up already with cams and everything anyone could be 99 overall so realistically these cards aren't going back up unless they drop some crazy set like drop four like drop like two of these into a set for a limited time pull like which will never happen that's a, that's like a, a ridiculous set that i just made up off the top of my head so these cards are only losing value so i recommend if you have them you sell them but don't sell them for this price right here obviously put up night train lane overnight for like 440 450 these two will probably sell put it up for like 430 try again and then when the new cards drop i can assure you these will drop in value because Every pack that gets pulled, they'll pull everything. Like they'll pull all these players, just not the new card. And then they'll put these up. They'll sell them. They'll go down in value. So definitely stick to these. Now, as far as the lower cards go, you should sell. You should sell every ultimate legend you have right now because I think they're only going to be going down. If you look here, they're not. And don't crucify me because one day you're going to see them for a slightly higher price. You're going to be like, Poodle, you told me, you, you you know you told me to sell. Yeah, but they were up for one minute. Like so, let's say you sold your nitro lane for 33k right now, right? And next week is 20k, 20k, 20k. And then like in a week from that, he's 35k. Okay, he went up 2k. You would have made two extra K. Like, it's the same thing. The only difference is that you didn't get. I know how people are. If you have a night train lane for 33K and you don't want to sell it, right? You're waiting, you're waiting. You see it for 20K, you're like, sell, sell, sell. I got to sell now. Like, it's like the stock market, like the the, the, the the great crash or whatever. Everyone saw it was dying. Everyone gets nervous and anxious and they sell on the spot. So you're going to lose almost 15K when you could have made 13 more K. So like you pretty much lost 26K if you think about it. You're down 30K. You're down 13K than you should have had. There's a 13K difference. Like just stick. That's what I'm saying. Sell now. Don't wait. And sorry if this feels like I'm dragging it out and things, but a lot of people told me that I talk too fast and I, I get through things too fast and I don't wait around. So I'm going to slow position by position, let's say, like, you know, tier by tier. So yeah, sell these now. Don't wait. And if you see them up for a slightly higher price than I said later tonight, like I told you, later tonight's always going to be more. So maybe if you want, don't sell them now. Put this card up for like 35, 36K overnight for seven hours and it'll probably sell. But don't wait. I'm telling you, every day you wait, you lose. And like, I, if you haven't watched my How to Prep for Madden 20 video, Go watch it, and it'll tell you if you're if you're done with Madden. If this is like the one of the last videos you're probably watching for the Madden year, go check out that video and do exactly what I say, so that you are ready for Madden 20. You come out the gates. Nothing was better than having almost a 90 overall Saquon Barkley to start this year off with a 75 overall team. Trust me, you're going to regret not watching that video. Go check it out if you haven't already. Go follow those tips if you're done with Madden. So that's about it. So I will be linking the Madden 20 prep video in the outro. So stay tuned for the outro. Click on it there and you can go watch it from there. Nice little shortcut for you guys. And that's about it. So I did should have at the, at the point of watching this video, you should have seen already the giant steam team builder. So go watch that video if you haven't. I'll probably link that in the end of this too. So that's about it. So 
make sure to drop the sub guys it will mean a lot to me it really will because i told you my goal is a thousand by beginning of may end of april so we're like a quarter we're like a third of the way there so i think you guys can do it i think you guys can really just just everyone watching just drop it you won't regret it if you really want to drop it later you know get rid of it later you can but i promise you won't regret it so go do it and make sure to everyone here comment down below if you sold your cards for if you sold the ultimate legends like i said how much you sold them for and also I'm still doing the I'm still debating between the Giants team team. So if I should do Chiefs, Raiders, 49ers, Steelers, or Giants team team. Those are the five I'm thinking about. I'm leaning towards Giants. If you guys got any others, comment that down below. And um, yeah, drop a like and go follow me on Twitter, poodle underscore gaming underscore. And you can hit me up on there anytime for any advice, any questions on the market, anything at all I'll answer. Alright, I'm out. I'll see you guys later.